Hello and welcome back to the second part of Hospitals as Happy Places series. Design decides fate. Design isn't passive, it's active medicine. In the healthcare architecture world, a hospital's design is its first responder. Design saves lives. Yes, lives. An architect's contribution here is quite simple, although very critical. The design needs to have a seamless flow in the emergency departments and of course, energy systems that keep critical equipment and care running without fail so that health doesn't fail or lives don't fail. Let's talk about ergonomics. A well-designed and a well-organized nurse's station with clear sight to the patient's room or to the patient's head, eliminating all bottlenecks and reducing stress through design to give nurses and doctors enough time and space around the patient bed, ensuring rapid diagnosis. And let's talk about the overall societal impact. Shifting the tone from clinical spaces to well-lit patient rooms and healing spaces help patients recover much quicker and faster. Or for family members finding a quiet place to just sit and wait around the hospital. Like mentioned before, design isn't passive, it's active medicine. The right design just doesn't treat the sick, it empowers healers. Follow for more insights. See you again soon. And since I haven't introduced myself properly, I am Kritika Sharma, a practicing healthcare architect. Uh, I have pursued my bachelor's from India, but my recent master's in building energy performance science uh, helps us to design energy efficient buildings considering climate analysis, which can be implemented in the design in various forms, such as in the building facades or the site plan, etc. And what better building than a hospital or a healthcare to implement these strategies on? Therefore, I have delved into the healthcare architecture world passionately. Let's have an open conversation about design in healthcare spaces. Um, and I truly hope and wish that such dialogues continue further uh, and continue to enlighten all of us involved in the healthcare sector in any capacity.